Today I'm going to talk about phase splitters. You know, wh when do you use a transformer and when should you use a circuit? What are the differences? I'm going to discuss that and then at the end of this video I'm going to show you the oscilloscope traces of a transformer versus a circuit. Uh, if that alarms you, then it should help you make up your mind which one you want to use. In a Music Master bass amp, they use a transformer to do the phase splitting. Signal comes in on the primary, the secondary has a center tap which then goes to ground and then each of the phases are inverted from one another. And then it goes out to a power transformer. In a uh, Pro Reverb Fender, it's using tubes. In more modern amplifiers, you can also use transistors, FETs, MOSFETs, so on and so forth, but it's a circuit. Now then, in both cases, a transformer is used for the power out to the speaker. They, it's using a phase splitter. You, you actually, you take the phase splitter, put it in backwards, so you take the two independent phases and you recombine them through the output transformer into a single sine wave coming out again. The advantage of an output transformer is that it's able to handle a lot of current and for the do-it-yourselfer this is a lot less risk to your pocketbook because you can hook this up fire and forget when you're dealing with power trans transistors you have to deal with bonding the transistor to the heat sink make sure the heat sinks properly sized there's no gap there's a lot of moving parts there and you could actually burn a transistor out in a heartbeat if you don't do your work well. A output transformer is very forgiving. Still very expensive, but the cost difference between an output transformer and using transistors in a heat sink, it's kind of like six of one, half dozen the other. You just have to make up your mind which way you want to go. Let me show you now the oscilloscope traces of a transformer versus a circuit and you can make up your mind which way you want to go. This is the result of using a signal transformer for a phase splitter. It's a really nice signal transformer. I'll keep the name and brand name to myself. There are probably reasons that that makes good sense, but look what happens here because of the iron transformer core it distorts the signal. These should be a pair of nice sine waves. Typically this is not going to be a problem if the end result is going to a speaker, headsets, things like that. You probably won't hear the distortion but if you're using the, the transformer for a phase splitter in other applications such as radio frequency work or noise canceling this is unacceptable because it's distorting each of the sine waves. They do add up to zero, but they're distorted. This is why this that would be a reason not to use a signal transformer for a phase splitter. Not only that, but they're heavy and they cost a lot of money. This is the result of using a circuit for a phase splitter. The sine wave in and the sine wave out through each of the sides is pristine, it's accurate, and it's non-distorted. The nice thing about using a circuit for that reason is that it's much cheaper to build. A tube face splitter would be the, probably the most expensive build, but then transistors and FETs and a handful of parts uh, looking for a, at a face splitter for say maybe 10-15 bucks inside a circuit whereas using a transformer would be multiple times more in cost just for the transformer. So there's a payoff. In this I can use it for noise canceling because when I add them together I have a nice straight line. There's no fuzz to this. It's pristine and clean. Anyway, that is why you would use a circuit for a face splitter in applications requiring further signal work, radio work, noise canceling circuits, and the like. Uh, you can use this for output to headsets and speaker systems. Certainly it would 
be a lot less distortion here than a transformer. The downside is uh, the how cost it would be to put that to a speaker. For small speakers, uh, say two, four, maybe even six inch, the circuit's going to get more expensive because you're having to deal with current. A transformer can deal with a lot of current on the output transformer. But for a phase splitter going to a power tube or to power transistors, this would be a better option than using a transformer. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching.